This video, I'm going to talk about if Beluga's success was a coincidence. We're about to find out. If you like content from me, please subscribe. Love you. Enjoy the video. I had an idea a couple days ago, and to most people, it might seem obvious. This question is probably very popular. Was Beluga's success a fluke, pure luck, or was his plan to rise to fame all planned with precise planning? Hiring his chances to complete certainty. This video is just a theory. We can never be 100% certain because we are not Beluga and can only present your own opinion. Beluga is one of my favorite creators on YouTube and I have a lot of respect for his character, imagination, and his sincerity to just want to make people laugh. But there's definitely a more serious, more disciplined side of Beluga on why it makes sense to have so much confidence coming in with his new channel. With so much hype, suspense, and precise calculation on what content he puts out to hit astronomical heights. And if you just want to know my opinion, I'll tell you at the end. So if you didn't know, Beluga released his first video in February 26, 2021. The first five videos consist of strong narration of his identity. A strong sense of connection with his viewers, of who he was. This is important because presenting your voice gives clarity to your audience to remember you. Think about it, if you have a clear outspoken voice, people will notice. If you mix it with things people care about, like Minecraft and funny videos, in a creator standpoint, people might just care about it a little bit more. Plus, let's not forget that Beluga had a channel almost a million subscribers called Lucid Dreaming. So this was not his first impression on YouTube. So people actually cared. With the combination of working out his strengths and weaknesses, the possibilities are endless. He just needs to find something lucrative to increase his odds. Note I said odds because at the time, this was probability, a varied opportunity. Think of videos like Bouncing Rocks trying to make having eco distribution of content. A mix of quality, quantity, and of course pleasing YouTube system, like retention and watch time. Which was... Exactly. Discord flippogram videos. Okay, when I put it like that, it probably sounds more silly than <laughs> if you think about it. But how and why did that get success? It goes back to odds. You couldn't be 100% from a creator standpoint. You can only test that theory and upload it and see what happens. And it turns out it was innovative enough for YouTube to love it. Well, Flippogram in general are known to be very flexible on what you want because you can control the narrative of your topic. Anything you want, you could turn it into a story with good enough effort. Beluga did this on Discord, which was creative. One of the most socially active software ever. He simply created a narrative that was never done before on YouTube. It was brilliantly authentic. And if he wanted, he could create his own community on Discord and other social media platforms. It would be a win. Keep in mind, even if you follow his narrative, you cannot replicate it completely. Tiny hints of his editing is different from everybody else's. I'm sorry. He's just simply better and creative. Plus, he started this whole bit, so he deserves most of the clout. But maybe you didn't come here for that answer. Did Beluga plan this all? Was he a mastermind that planned this all to happen? Probably, yes because he knew how to mess with the odds on YouTube. He simply is a pro making videos in his box room, finding new things and finally winning somehow. Subscribe, love you, here's your flower.